word is flow. Magnus has to be going whoop, whoop. When he's doing that, that's the Magnus Carlson at his peak. Nobody beats him. But if he's not in flow, he's stopping, he's hesitating, he's spending a minute on moves. It, the move you're taking time on right now is you're probably not going to be a losing move. In Blitz, you don't, you don't need 100% tight moves. You don't even need 95% tight moves. Even 90 is not enough. One of Hikaru Nakamura's greatest strengths, one of the things you admire most about him, is he'll play the 80% tight move. This move may not be the perfect move, but it's good enough, and we see them starting. But the good enough move that you can play quickly and you can get in that nice flow, as now Dingleran knows, I get a draw, I win the match. Magnus has to win. Magnus has to get in absolute flow, fluidity, play fast, every move, bing, 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 get an edge on the clock. That's how he's going to put the pressure on his opponent. All right. And I like this opening for Magnus. Going into a Rui Lopez. Close position with no trades, Yaz. I think this is just what the doctor ordered for Magnus in a must-win situation. The okay. first set of trading happening right now. And he's uh, got into a, actually a mainline position without the tempo H2H3. Uh, uh, this uh, Chigorin variation. And so, well, Black's in a mainline position without who would be one on the board. Look at E8, we can imagine Knight C3. And again, Magnus grabbing the pawn, fidgeting, and looks like he's going in a deep open fight. Very good. Just giving him some space and saying to do it around. Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to uh, get a central wedge, and we're going to play a very, very long game. Because I'm going to keep as many pieces That's on right. the board for as long <laughs> That's right. as I keep possibly it on. can. No trades. No keep trades. Like, but keep the edge on the clock. As well. Don't I play perfect moves. Don't look for perfect moves. Look for enduring moves right. when you're in this setting. You just keep the game going, and your opponent knows if he if he doesn't make the draw, he's going to be devastated. He just won this game. This is golden opportunity. So just let him beg for the draw as long as you can. And we see that Magnus again, his strategy is very, very clear. Keep as many uh, many pieces on the board for as long as possible. Knight on A5 was misplaced. Knight B7, seeking to play Knight C5. And if you play B2, B4, A5. Oh, no, you don't want to do that. You so, you know. Too many trades. Exactly. G4. G4. Yeah, baby. Giving Ooh. up his light score in Bishop. I was expecting G3. Two. Keeping the pieces. I don't like this decision at all by Magnus. Take that Bishop on D3. That's the money Bishop in this opening. Play B4 and Queen B5. And Black is for choice. Yeah, that is Lovely. a great idea. B4, your idea, wow. yes. Why would you... Bishop B5 is a threat. That bishop. So if you want to say... You need that bishop in B5. I mean, not a bishop would be a coin. Giving up that king's bishop. Mm -hmm. and this one, this the lead. So classic real no. Plays. No queen trade, says Magnus Carlsen. Rook oh, yeah, he doesn't want to see that. Rook A7, Rook C7, or Rook C7, Rook C8. Double up on the C5. Hit that C2 square, ignoring the king side threats, knight of five, no big deal. You can just drop back with this bishop or even capture on F5. Magnus looking terrible at this moment. He senses that he has given away those light squares. How does he dominate the dark squares conversely? Uh, with black having such a great dark square pawn formation, that it doesn't seem very likely bishop to E3, doubling rook and C2 is now become sensitive. The problem is, is that his moves are very natural. They, he doesn't have to really think at all about what's going on here. It's, it's just play G6 to stop any not, then knight F5 potentials are now being ruled out. Magnus is slightly natural. behind on the clock, so the flow is not in here for him either. And it's that giving up that bishop, those light squares, B3. Now he's trying okay. to secure the light squares like and put a knight on C4. Knight C4, at least he will block I like this move too, but the thing for Magnus, I think this this game, it's not the problem with the clock. It's his his king side um, attacking potentials. He hasn't gotten anything started yet, yeah. Oh, and meanwhile, Ding Moran has just got total control of the queen side. But how is Ding Moran going to prevent this idea of knight c4? I don't. 
think he is. I think he's going to just go as queen. And then then bishop b5. Yeah. Just just to nudge that knight away from the blockading, uh, blocking the C file. And that will be a great idea because if we get the C file, then we can start invading. So knight c4, bishop b5. He's going to have to play knight to b6. Is uh, a5. Whoa, whoa. whoa. What is the knight? Where is the knight on a5? Big surprise for for herself. Okay, Queen B eight, and now Magnus is saying Queen B two. Magnus is reaching across the board, wants to play Queen to C four, but Rook C three. Yeah, Rook, rook C three looks like a money move. Exactly. And there it is. Now you can't play Knight E two. Don't forget that Knight on G three is protected. The Knight the pawn on E four. And by the way, Bishop D eight is on Bing Liren's agenda. So A3 played, um, anticipating that if Bishop D8, we can take on B4. Exactly. A mini so, trap too, by the way, is it sound. If you take on A3, Knight C6. Knight C6 interrupting the defense. And he has done it. He's allowing. done it. He's daring Magnus now to win an Magnus exchange. Magnus has to play Knight C6. Knight C6. Mag- Mag- Magnus has no choice. And there it is. The, the, the situation that match demands him to play this double edge move. But we're move. also going to win E4, aren't we? We got so much Rook takes C6. Rook takes C6. C6. Bishop takes C6. E4 takes E4 and B3 are both to both in capture. Exactly. And Knight takes E4. And that's a great light square bishop. So Rook on C3. But the, but the position is just blown up. And certainly this is good news for Magnus. By the way, that, I think Dean Lillian missed that move Knight C6. He's got to recalibrate his emotions right now. Just just everything under win. control. It seems like it's so win. awesome for Black. And now it's just like, it's going to be wild. A little mayhem. He's nervous. He's he nervous. nervous. He wants to find the move that gets the draw. By the way, there's going to be a bishop g5 at the end hitting the knight, so not making it easy for you to get that e4 pawn in the variation. Oh, he he bishop a takes. And a bishop takes a, a discovered attack against the queen. The queen to get more pawns. You don't get e4. Well, I don't know. There's a B3 know. There's hanging. A B3 is hanging. That's yeah, B3 is hanging. So what do you do here? Queen, uh, queen so A5. Queen D3, we have queen takes B3. Um, better than bishop B3, allowing rook B1. Okay, so queen takes B3. Yeah, queen takes B3. Um, better than bishop B3, allowing rook B1. Okay, very key, crucial decision here. And once again, the clock comes. Pretty close, pretty close. Two and a half minutes for both sides. But you wouldn't blame anyone for taking a little bit of a think here because this is perhaps the money moment of the game. Absolutely, the critical. Agreed. Okay. Queen a five is apparently his best move. Queen a five looks boxed, hitting everything. Yeah. Queen a five hits the bishop, hits the pawn on a six, hits the pawn on oh, a three. Oh, and it's Carlson after Magnus a deep Carlson. thing. Oh, there and it he's is. surprised that he finds <laughs> the move, the best move in the position when he beats in blitz. This is the flow he wants. Put the pressure, and now big decisions. E4, do I get E4? Well, what Bishop about B3? E4 walks into G5. G4, G5. I can't play Bishop. I gotta re- I gotta play Bishop B3 or Bishop B7. I think I like Bishop B7. Actually, be careful because you open up the position. Whoa, 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 G5 does take not it. win because of Bishop A8. A fantastic retreating move. No. With the idea of Queen B7. With the idea of Queen B7, Magnus has to be on the Look out! If he plays G5, a magnificent retreat will be just fine. Oh, and he's being and he's played! It. And he and found it! Wow! And this move shocked Magnus. Magnus oh, thought boy. G5 was a winner. I miss Bishop A8. A but big retreating moves move. are the moves. We talked about that. What We've seen move. it in the Singfield Cup. It would be amazing if this is the move that does it. He is not winning, however. He is not totally winning. It's a sacrifice. And Magnus took an 6 though. That one is works for him as knight d5. Knight d5 and black is back in business. And black is on top. Bishop a7 play. Very quickly by Magnus. Instantly. Magnus is playing these moves like he had it all figured but, 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 out. But what happens on... He's played queen c7, by the way. Yes, best move. He's got nice all the right moves. By the way, g5 knight is to hanging. F4. Knight to f4. Yes, knight to f4. Queen to d7. Ooh, lots of threats. Magnus in a trouble he and he's allowed this position guessing that he's perfectly fine but this is this is lost but hold on then it is still an a3 pawn on the board guys yes there is wow. how can this possibly be good for white and, and bishop takes g5 and lots of threats on the 
turns out, it turns out that he is okay as Magnus, but a draw is not enough. Remember, he must win. This magnificent defense is not going to get it done, and Black's pieces look amazing. He's, He's coordinating. Everything defends each other. And not capture on d6 now. Bishop f4. Ooh, main threat. Queen f8. 97, though. Whoa. No, no. Counter main threat. Work h1. A mate, a mate on h1. How do you stop a How do you stop mate? it? That's a spectacular shot. Winning the game. The game is over. Queen d8 is spite check. Spite check. Spite check. Rook h1 is mate. Two amazing retreating moves. And it's over. Magnus can resign. We, can, we have to play f3. Stop. f3. Bishop takes f3. f3. And that's and it. It's the same thing. That's, That's it. it. Oh my what goodness. What a game. That was even Oh, what a great kick for this fine young man. He's this gonna beat Magnus 2-0. Oh, this game was phenomenal. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. What? The best. This is chess in the I can't best. even remember the first game, the first three games of the playoff. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's it! There it is! is. Ding Loren is the wow. champion of the Singfield Cup. Our Singfield Cup champion, Ding Loren. Wow. Congratulations. We're gonna have to call him Mr. Ding In a blitz playoff. And those moves, Bishop A8, Bishop wow. A7. Spectacular. Spectacular. Uh, King Aran is a very deserving round of applause, but the applause isn't going to end anytime soon, as this celebration will certainly be.